guys, what's happening? If you've tracked yourself to one of these little guys, and when I say little, they are really, really, really tiny. They're awesome, in fact, how small they are. But you're a bit disappointed that you only get 21 games. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add as many games as you want, your favourites, and how easy it is. So, let's get straight to the process. If you haven't yet bought one of these and you're just a little bit curious to see what it looks like before you do add the games, you don't have any folders or anything, you've just simply got the games that run across. So you go from left to right and you can pick whatever you want. Below the games you can see that it says it's a one player or a two player, so if you decide to play on your own or with somebody, that's a good thing to note. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to go to the laptop and show you how you install Hackchi. You can use a laptop or a PC and once you're on either of them, if you just go down to your browser, in my case Google Chrome, and then you type in Hackchi, I've already got mine typed in there, and you want to click the first link here that says githubgithub.com and then go into there and then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see this one that says downloads and then you've got Hackchi and it's 2.21F. And it's a zip file and it's 11.6 megabyte so if you click that it should start downloading which it has there and if you bear with us i'll be back in a second once this is fully downloaded that's fully downloaded what you want to do now is click it and it'll open whichever folder it's gone to in my case it was the download so i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to close my browser and i'm going to drag and drop this to my desktop it's just copying across And I've now got everything where I want it. So if I close this one, I'm just going to move this a little bit closer to the one that's my SNES games. I'm not going to tell you where you get these from, but if you go on Google or if you go on a torrent site, you'll be able to find absolutely loads of them. So the Hackchi folder, if you just double tap that and open it, and this is the one that you want to use for your program, double tap that. It'll bring up this, and if you click on More Info, and then just click Run Anyways. And there we have it, and it's asking what you're using. So you've got the NES or you've got the SNES. So in our case, it is the SNES. So I'm going to tap that. And then it's just saying OK. And then what you want to do now is you want to go to Kernel. And then you want to flash custom kernel. Do you want to flash a custom kernel? Yes, I do. And then it's telling you what to do. It's saying make sure the power is off. And you've got to connect it to a USB cable. Hold the reset button and the power button. And it's pretty much self-explanatory from here. So if you bear with us, I'm going to plug it in and we're going to do this. I'm all hooked up and I'm pressing down the reset button. I've got that held down and I'm going to turn the power button on now. So I've clicked that. I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. And I'm going to leave go. You can see down there it says it's installing something. So that's obviously what it's doing. If I click this, you'll be able to see it. There you go. It says just wait a few minutes for the setup. And that should be done. This may take several seconds. And it looks like we're done. And then over here it says install driver. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to click yes. It's just doing a couple of things. And it will turn this off in a second. It says press enter to exit. So I'm going to press me enter button. And then all it's doing now is just flashing the custom kernel. This shouldn't take long at all. Right, that's all done. I think that took about four minutes, so I'm just going to click OK. And if you look over here where it says dump, so I'm going to double tap that. That's your kernel for your original. It's dumped it, meaning it's backed it up, so if anything ever happens, that's where it is. It's in this folder, and it's going to dump. It does that automatically. It didn't used to, but it does now. And to add the games, if I just move this along a little bit, and I double tap this to open it, I'm just going to basically drag and drop these. There is two, oh, I've clicked the wrong thing there, just ignore that. There is two ways you can do this. You can either drag and drop, or if you click, if, if, I totally muddled all my words up there. You can either drag and drop, or you can click on this one that says add more games. So I'm just going to drag and drop, and then I'm going to close that. So there you go, these are the games. And then all you want to do is come down to this one and sync them. So it's just saying wait for it to build. And we're done. But if you want pictures on these games, if I click Killer Instinct, you can see there's no box art here. So I'm going to highlight all these. And then I'm going to right click. And I'm going to click Download Art. So it's just Googling the pictures for you.
and that's all done if you click OK and the next time you click on one of the pictures you'll be able to see the image so there you go you've got Killer Instinct you've got Mortal Kombat you've got NBA Jam Shaq Fu Sunset Riders and you've got WWF Royal Rumble and it's as easy as that that's how you uh, that's how you do it we've now got the games on the SNES so I'm gonna plug this all in and show you it all working but before that I'm just gonna turn everything off I'm gonna turn the power button off on the SNES the little green lights on here so that means I'm good to go so I'm turning that off if you wait a few seconds you'll see there'll be a red light what comes on which is that and then I'm just gonna close this and now we're gonna go to the SNES we're back on the SNES as you can see these are the games that we're on but if you look on the very end there's a new little folder so if I click on that it says more games and inside here you've got the games that I've just added you can go back to the original games by clicking the original games but if you want to if you want to play something click on Killer Instinct I'm going to turn the volume up on this because you cannot hear it really low and then I'm going to press the start button I'm going to click on one player Jago 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 and there we have it obviously I'm not very good with one hand but that is that is the gist of it that is the game if you get stuck with anything as always just leave us a comment and I'll get straight back to you